While inflation remains above average levels, the Consumer Price Index report showed signs of slowing, suggesting that price increases are easing across the United States. Joining us right now with how the president's economic, uh, economic agenda fits into all of this is Jared Bernstein. He is the chairman of the president's Council of Economic Advisors. Jared, welcome. Uh, this is good news to see inflation slowing, finally. Do um, you think this is mission accomplished? Oh, no. Uh, no victory laps, no mission accomplished. Our work is not done, but we're very uh, happy to see some breathing room for American households. Twelve months in a row of year-over-year -year inflation decelerating. Uh, that's, uh, it's down two-thirds from its peak a year ago. We have gas prices down from north of $5 to about three sixty so far. And this is helping to contribute to some real wage gains as well. Now, if you think about the 70% uh, of our GDP that's consumer spending, that's one reason why we've continued to defy, I think, recession predictions. I mean, the economy, the macro economy has continued to, uh, because, uh, you know, strong consumer supported by such a robust, persistently robust labor market uh, is really helping. And by the way, as, you, uh, as your team well knows, you don't usually see six percentage points decline in inflation with an unemployment rate that stayed below 4% for 17 months in a row. That is a very, very low sacrifice ratio. Mm -hmm. Also good news for uh, the American households thus far. That is great news. But, Jared, I don't know how much of the previous conversation you heard. I heard a uh, lot of it. Okay. So the, the, this comes after a very different sort of situation. I mean, it was the pandemic, the global pandemic, like we haven't seen before. It was the messing up of supply chains, and that yep. really caused some massive problems. Uh, I don't know how much that's been straightened out. There, there were some big checks that were being spent by the government or sent out to people that started with Trump, but it continued right through the Biden administration. There were a lot of people who were critical and said those checks should have ended sooner. Um, that's kind of worn off. So you have a lot of different things at play here, and it's hard to pinpoint how, who's responsible for what. You've also got the Fed yeah. in there raising rates. No question. That was a very good description of the, uh, the mashup of uh, a lot of things that have been going on. Really remarkable dynamics. By the way, all that makes it incredibly exciting to be uh, working with the CEA over this period. I, I think a, a good way to maybe organize our thinking around both inflation's increase and its uh, deceleration, this, this two-thirds uh, of disinflation since uh, the, over the past year, is to kind of go through what you just did in the following way. Uh, the factors that led to inflation's liftoff were the combination of strong demand intersecting with constrained supply. Some people like to put expectations in that calculation, but thankfully they've stayed pretty anchored. As inflation has come down, as it's rolled over and come down on the other side, I heard Ed Yardini use the transitory word. That's not me, that's him. Yeah. As, inflation, as inflation has rolled over, and uh, again, 12 months in a row of decelerating uh, yearly inflation, We've had, uh, and this I can clarify something you're scratching your head about, we've had unsnarling of supply chains. That is very clear. I'm not saying uh, a victory lap there either by any kind of measure, but there are indexes of supply chains both in the ISM and the New York Fed has an index, and it has come way back down close to where it was pre-pandemic, and you can track that with core goods prices. They followed that trend on the way down. The Fed, of course, does its work on the demand side. Some negative fiscal impulses help there as well. But if constrained supply crashing into strong demand is the reason inflation went up so high, unsnarled supply with some demand pullback is, is, is why we're seeing it, I think, slow. Jared, would you, will you actually cite me that, that I uh, sort of gave you that idea that you don't have to just say the, the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, is already working because it's not implemented. You don't have to sort of oversell things, say, yeah, the Fed has helped bring down inflation. Well, hold on but a the, second, Joe. But the, but the Biden administration kept the economy strong enough to withstand it to have these great job numbers uh, every month. So well, I think that's exactly that, I just, what the, I mean, that is, that is, that is. You already I came think, up with that? I, I'm going to yes. start writing stuff for you. You so, don't need AI. You don't need so chat let GPD, me give, let, GPT. Let me, give you, let me give you a reference. Go back to the um, op-ed that the president wrote. I believe it was in March of last year. He outlined exactly what you just said. So this is a story we've been telling for a long time. Uh, and I think the facts uh, uh, um, have shown that that's very much in the spirit of what I just described, what Ed Yardini was talking about. I think what we're all circling around here is our measures have certainly helped 
to do two things, and I think um, Andrew was onto this a little bit. We've helped to help the lift off of, a, of, of really the strongest labor market recovery that you know I've probably ever seen, certainly in uh, in generations. And this has meant really important things for worker bargaining power. That is a key pillar of Bidenomics. But we also did intervene on the supply side. I want to be clear about that, and that's uh, something we've been talking about back in June of 2021. The president stood up the Supply Side Disruption Task Force. I'm not saying we did it ourselves by a long shot. We worked in close partnership with our private sector partners in the ports, L.A., Long Beach. We had a port envoy out there helping. And so we did help on the unsnarling side. And uh, certainly I, I would agree with you that the uh, rescue plan very much set up you know, the, the, the solid recovery we're still, uh, we're still in.